puffed as quietly as he could. And he didn't follow too closely. Suddenly, Emily turned down one of the branch lines. Thomas raced after her, but just as he got to the branch line, the signalman changed the points. Thomas had to go straight ahead. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. How will I ever find out what the surprise is? That evening, the engines were very excited. They were all talking about Thomas's surprise. I can't wait, chuffed Edward. He'll love it, puffed Percy. But then, Thomas arrived. Shh, said James. Don't tell Thomas, said Henry. Thomas felt more left out than ever. It wasn't fair. Everyone knew what the surprise was except Thomas. Huh, if they won't tell me, I don't want to know, he huffed. Thomas steamed crossly away. He puffed as far as he could. At last, it was time to show Thomas the surprise. But no one knew where Thomas had gone. Please find him, Harold, Edward puffed. I'll do my best, said Harold, and he took to the air. Thomas was parked in a siding. He was cold and sad. Why was he the only one not to know what the surprise was? If only they would tell him. Then Thomas heard a noise. It was coming from the sky. It was Harold, the helicopter. There you are, old chap, he called. It's time for you to collect the children and to see the surprise. The children, puffed Thomas. Yes, said Harold. It's a special thank you for keeping the lines clear of snow. Thomas was delighted. Finally, he was going to find out what the surprise was. So I wasn't being left out, cried Thomas. Of course not, said Harold. The children are waiting for you at Wellsworth Station. Thomas loved pulling carriages full of children, so he raced away. Soon, he arrived at Wellsworth Station. Thomas collected the children. He puffed through the snowy countryside. The children were very excited. They all wanted to know what the surprise was. Thomas turned down the branch line. Soon they arrived at a country village, and there was Thomas's surprise. A huge Christmas tree was standing in the village square. Its lights shone and its baubles twinkled. And at the bottom of the tree were lots of presents. There was even some tinsel for Thomas. It's the best surprise I ever had, Thomas puffed happily. <laughs> 